and just go? I say like a lot. I don't notice it unless something's in print. But I sound like an idiot. I read like an idiot. <laughs> but other than that, I'm not. Uh, my greatest fear is that I look like an idiot. I'm going to try and do an open, which yeah. I'm not very good at, but I'm going to try because you're here. All right, welcome to VF Hollywood. I'm sitting here with Lisa Kudrow, who has a bunch of new stuff coming up that I am very excited to talk to her about. Who Do You Think You Are now mm -hmm. is on TLC. It's an excellent show about finding your um, lineage, I mm -hmm. guess, getting the truth and everything. Yeah. And then uh, the other show, Web Therapy, which is laugh out loud funny. Started as a little web show, and now it's on Showtime. So welcome, Lisa. Hi. How'd I do? All right. Great. No, that was okay. so good. It got Emmy nominated last year, right? Yeah. And now it's on Showtime, a major, obviously a major cable network. Yeah. How did that come up, this idea to start a show on the web? Well, uh, you know, we had, it's starting like 2006 even, like 2007, we were asked, do you want to do a web series? And, you know, the answer was no. Because the only web series we knew about were sort of pilots that didn't make it, so you right. chop them up into five minute segments and put them on the internet but you know something with the internet should be funny because people are doing kind of personal things on the internet now like looking for husbands and wives and you know right. intimate things and then I went oh therapy it's like the most intimate thing you can do that would be hilarious I'm not sure if that's okay because what? I think the names are supposed to be changed oh. and then from um, El Studio got in touch with us you know because they were starting a broadband channel Right. And we said, well, this is the only thing we would do. And they said, great, we'll do it. And we had to come up with the character. It has to be a hideous person to even offer this ridiculous service. So mm -hmm. we just made her really self-serving and manipulative and, and dismissive. Right, and the Fiona Wallace, the voice is great. How did you come up with that voice for well, her? There's a woman I know who is actually very, um, like, sexy, poised, intelligent she's like the perfect woman mm -hmm. like truly classy and like on every level and i just thought oh that's how fiona thinks she comes off right <laughs> <laughs> so i'll just take her and then process it through you know the idiocy that right. i can't help but bring to anything mm -hmm. and then throw in those other horrible Oh, the, voice, the voice is just perfect for it. Well, I don't think it's strange. It's not like I haven't experienced <laughs> someone falling in love with me before. But it is very soon. And yet not soon enough. Exactly. All those things, like she is horrible and the So dismissive. Self yeah. Just condescending and yeah, she's awful. And that's really fun. I mean, you work with Dan Bukatinsky too, right. who I yeah, love. Yeah. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. Shout Emmy nominated Emmy for nominated. Scandal. Indeed. A great bunch of people that come through. You think of this little web series, Meryl Streep, Billy yeah. Crystal, Steve Carell, <laughs> Alan Cumming, Rashida Jones. I mean, these are just, yeah. and then obviously Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a coup. <gasps> Lily Tomlin is one of my favorites. I've Look. only met her once and it was very quick. Oh really? And it was well, like a handshake. She's an icon. She's a comedy icon, Lily Tomlin. Did you grow up watching her on the giant chair? And, yes, yeah. Edith okay. Ann. Edith. I imitated Edith Ann. I'd go to school and be Edith Ann, and everyone's, oh my God, you're wonderful. You know, <laughs> thank you. A little, someone named Lily Tomlin <laughs> came up with that. But yeah, she, I, I mean, so Lily, the first time we had her, and she met with us, and she was there for a while, and came up with all this extra stuff like, hey, she should be smoking pot, you know, and she should be going nuts and just threw all this fantastic stuff into it. And the second time she gave us sock puppets and socko drama because <laughs> she was, you know, a patient of a psychiatric hospital. That's amazing. <laughs> it's just like what she thinks about. It's yes, but not only, it's not just sock puppets. She comes with the puppets, which have mini wigs, for the wigs that she has. So cornrows, and then the little sock puppet has little cornrows. Unbelievable. Yeah. But that's why she is who she is. There's nothing sort of halfway, like nothing half ass. I know, we're all waiting for the Friends reunion uh, movie or sad? TV show or, <laughs> right, like the MASH reunion or whatever. How sad. Yeah. But, you know, that was just this rumor that started 
I remember our first interview, like the day after we wrapped. Mm -hmm. So is there going to be a reunion? Yeah. And it started right then and there and hasn't stopped. Do you remember your audition for Friends? Yeah, definitely. It was, um, it's in the pilot. It was a monologue. It's this monologue that Phoebe gives about herself. I remember when I first came to this city, I was 14. My mom you know, like when your mom commits suicide and then, you know, your stepdad's in jail and you end up living in a car with yeah. a homeless albino guy or like whatever. That monologue was the audition piece. Uh, so who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. This series, talk about must-see TV. I'm riveted. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe the documents we find in the stories that are revealed. It's, I'm still in awe of that show. And as a producer, it's, I mean, because I love acting and producing, you know, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But for this show, it's worth it because you learn so much and it's really fun. I consider my greatest achievement to be, um, I think my family, honestly. My son and my husband, I'm still married, and my son is a very nice person. So that shouldn't be, just, that's not actually just my achievement, is it? I, okay, so if there's one thing I would change about myself, it would be that I stop taking credit for absolutely everything.